Black Lives! Black Lives! Let's celebrate the Black Lives! golden! The sights and sounds of the MLK holiday nearly a decade ago. The calls for justice into the St. Paul police shooting back then of Marcus Golden. Golden's family and activists have been fighting the St. Paul Police Department over the deadly encounter for eight years now. A federal lawsuit in recent days yielding a $1.3 million settlement with the city of St. Paul. Paul Bloom joining us now. And so, Paul, that 2015 shooting of Marcus Golden prompting protests and anger at the time, his loved ones have raised questions since the beginning. Kelsey and Randy, absolutely. Over the years, family described Marcus Golden as a caring and passionate young man going through some life struggles when he was killed in that deadly police encounter just about eight years ago now to this very day. The two officers involved were never charged, yet during all that time, Golden's grieving loved ones refused to give up their fight for the truth and for justice. I want to know the little things. Eight years ago, before Philando Castile, before George Floyd, Marcus Golden's mother told Fox 9, the official narrative of what happened to her black son outside this Capital City apartment building on a January night did not add up. I think probably he was scared and didn't know what was transpiring. My son was a good son. Erica Colors Golden never believed the 24-year-old would aim his vehicle at a police officer in that snowy parking lot and suddenly accelerate. Golden was shot and killed by a pair of St. Paul cops. Authorities reported that a loaded handgun was found in his SUV within arm's reach. Black lives! With no body cameras and no squad car footage of the encounter, the police shooting led to protests and calls for justice out in the streets. A grand jury convened in neighboring Washington County failed to indict the two officers. Golden's loved ones would eventually file a federal lawsuit citing excessive force and constitutional violations. This is about transparency. Last week, before ever going to trial, a settlement emerged. Here's that paperwork. The city of St. Paul still denying liability, but wanting to end the, quote, uncertainties around ongoing litigation, agreeing to pay Golden's family $1.3 million. His loved ones also getting a family member on St. Paul's Neighborhood Safety and Community Council. They told Fox 9 Monday they want to wait until the full city council signs off on the package later this week before speaking publicly. And in addition to the 1.3 million, two other components to the settlement, the family gets a memorial bench and a plaque in the, in the, inside the city's Como Park facing the lake, a dedication to Marcus, as well as a public acknowledgement from Mayor Melvin Carter. Again, the deal still needs council approval, though that is expected at Wednesday afternoon's regular, regularly scheduled meeting. Paul Bloom, Fox 9.